photographs. Many are the pleasant hours that the American family spends with memories of the past. For photographs are little fragments of time gone by. They are precious, crystallized moments out of the past, preserved and handed down from one generation to another. Ma, who is this lady? That, my dear, is your great aunt Fanny. Oh, I see what you mean. That's Ma's great uncle behind that small mattress. Uh, he was quite a guy. They tell about the time he tangled with the police back in 1900. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, there's a sharp looking ball club. Your team, Grandpa? Yep, that's me right there, Junior. Ah, football was a real game. We only had two rooms. Use no hooks and bury your own dead. In those days, we sure got a plate. My sweet grandmother. She used to make the most wonderful pickles. Well, she could turn a fresh cucumber into a sour pickle with just a good, steady look. And that old skate, that was my grandma's bachelor brother. He had a pot full of money, but nobody knows what ever became of it. Quite a ladies' man he was, too. Recently, Pa Jones has been taking some pictures himself. The family gets a lot of fun out of them. But the results Pa has been getting are not exactly what you would call masterpieces. The principal fault with Pa's pictures is found mostly in his use of light. Indoors and outdoors, he has tried many different methods of his own to light his scenes. But, somehow, he just doesn't seem to get good pictures. Probably, he's been having trouble because he has not yet learned that he is usually inclined to use too many lamps. And he has likewise been unable to determine just where the lights should be placed in order to get the most effective results. And in order to save the Jones family from this sort of pictorial punishment. Much light on Sis, not enough on Junior. And look at Ma here. A single light source, unshielded, slamming into the lens of the camera. Pa Jones has included home movies too, in order to make his pictorial family record complete.
Now, Elmer, what is the matter with that? Well, it's the lighting, I guess. I still can't figure just how much light I really need. Or where to put it. That's all. Well, after many sad disappointments in his picture-taking efforts, Pa has decided that he was on the wrong track. He is getting advice to use a couple of simple, easily understood photographic lighting principles and to keep his shooting really economical and convenient. The use of a single flash bulb opened entire new fields of accomplishment for Pa Jones. In fact, he still takes most of his pictures with this simple method. With single flash, he catches more lifelike, natural pictures. Impromptu pictures, taken on the spur of the moment. Pictures that he was never able to get before. The use of single flash enables him to get pictures that could not easily be taken in any other way. Single flash is effective where the record is the important thing. Where the matter of convenience is a factor and where circumstances call for quick operation. While a single light source is excellent in many instances, there are occasions when there is plenty of time to set up a situation and to direct the subject. Lately, Pa has been going a step further with his lighting. By adding a second lamp, he can take just about every subject and every kind of indoor picture he wants for a complete and interesting family record. For the use of more than one light, Pa has a pet lighting formula. It's a simple, almost magic little formula. He always uses it now, and it invariably gets better than average pictures. This formula of Paz is based on an ordinary triangle. The triangle lighting formula is so easy to understand and to remember that almost any member of the family can learn to use it. What on earth are you doing there, Elmer? You see, Mary, this is the triangle lighting formula, and it works like this. Now, we have our camera here, and the subject is here. Now, our number one light is always at or near the camera lens. With this light in place, I measure the distance from the camera to the subject. Maybe I could get it close enough by facing it off, but it pays to be pretty careful where you can, so I use a tape measure. Next, I take this same distance and measure it off at right angles to the line from the camera to the subject to locate a marker spot. Then, by sighting, I establish a line between the marker and the camera. There, that's it. That's our triangle. For my second light, I simply locate the halfway point between the marker and the camera, and place the light there. That's simple enough, isn't it, Mary? And the triangle scheme will work either with flash bulbs or with flood. 
Also, in explaining this, I put my second light to the right of the subject. Naturally, it would work on the left just as well. So remember, the triangle system can be used on either side. Say, let's shoot a quick picture of Grandpa while he's playing cards. The number one light is located at or near the camera lens. This light by itself is the basic light. If we were in a hurry here, it would be sufficient for an exposure. Just to get a record print, so I can explain it a little better, let's take a picture using only the single light at the camera. Okay, Pop, look this way and smile. Thank you. Then to locate the second light, I first measure the distance from the camera to the subject. Now I measure this same distance at right angles to the line from camera to subject. And mark it. The place for the second light is halfway from the marker to the camera. Now remember that this light and the number one light must be exactly alike. This is an exposure meter. If I were using flash, I would follow the exposure directions printed on each flash lamp carton. Now for the picture. Oh, Trix, come on. Quit clowning and turn around, Trixie. That's right. Uh, raise your head just a little. Let's see, try sitting up. Raise your left ear. Hold it. Here's our picture, taken with two lamps. Now here's the first one we took with only the number one light. It's a good record shot. But see in this one how the second lamp, used as a side light, has added realism and life. It's got more, more oomph. It is a much more interesting picture, isn't it? Now let's take some photo flash lamps and try another two light arrangement. I always leave our first light at the camera. This time, instead of using the second light at the side, we'll measure diagonally through the subject to a point opposite its former location and the same distance beyond the subject. And we'll put our second light there. This time we have a two light combination consisting of one at the camera and the second as a backlight. Let's see what happens with this setup. As I said, I'm keeping the camera light for basic exposure lighting. For the second light, I measure diagonally from the halfway point to the subject then an equal distance beyond the subject. My second light, which is exactly the same as the camera light, is now in position for a backlight. Now I'm ready to shoot. I dread it, but I suppose I'll have to tell you to really play if I want this to look natural. Okay, let's hear it. All right, Junior. One, two, and here's our result. Notice how the second light, as used here, outlines the subject, separates it from the background, and gives depth to the picture. And it was easy to take. Now, we don't really have to, but just for the fun of it. Let's see what three lights will do. Let me see. The first light in front, and the second at the side, and the third for backlighting. That's it, Mary, and always remember, the three lights must be exactly alike. 
and the triangle will work with either a left or a right setup. First, the front light for the basic exposure lighting. Second, the side light for modeling. Third, the back light for depth, used occasionally for that little extra touch. There's our triangle. Now I'm using flash again this time, Mary, because I want to stop action. Okay, tricks. Food comes high these days. Go up and get it. Come on, Chief. Come on. Come on, get it. That's it. Come on, Daddy. <laughs> And here is our picture taken with three lights. Now, our lamps don't have to be kept exactly in the positions I've shown you. They may be moved within certain limits to fit the subject. The front light, for instance, should be close to the camera or it won't fill the scene with light. But it can be moved around. Generally, it is used a bit above the level of the lens and on the opposite side of the lens from the side light. As the front light is moved, the effect is like this. Short shadows are created on the face of... Say, Mary, what's this bird's name again? Gaius Julius Caesar. Yeah. Well, this Gaius Julius... This guy doesn't look so good to me in any light. Let's assume, for example, that he wears glasses. <laughs> You see what happens? We've got to place the front light or turn the subject so the glasses won't reflect light into the camera lens. And the side light doesn't have to be exactly halfway between camera and marker. It's flexible within a short range to get the best lighting on the subject as long as it's kept the same distance from the subject. While the side light is usually a little higher than the front light, it can be moved up or down for different subjects. This shows the effect of moving the side light around. There, yeah, that's good. But this character still looks as if he's been dead too long. light can be moved around a little too, either laterally about the subject or up and down. But if the back or the side lights are raised to any considerable height, then they should be moved closer to keep the distance from the subject unchanged, like this. And bear in mind that direct light from backlighting should always be screened from striking the camera lens. Now we'll see the effect that our backlight has on the subject. Suppose this character here had something dark on his noggin. We can use our backlight to give the subject definite outline. Or we can turn the light directly on the background and bring out our subject by contrasting tone values. Well, your triangle idea is certainly easy to understand, Elmer. Why, even the kids could use it. Why not? Now when we have that bingo party next week, Junior and Sis can really go to town. Because the triangle idea is a basic formula, it is readily adapted to photographing this episode in the life of the Jones family. But before they use the triangle setup to take the picture of the whole party, Sis and Junior want to use their favorite method of shooting. Quick, easily handled single flash. Single flash shots of the various individual bingo players are the simplest way to catch natural, unposed, spontaneous expressions. These shots are conveniently and easily made without interrupting the action of the game.
and without interfering in any way with the usual calm, placid, tranquil contentment of our host. And now for the group shot of the entire party. Here, number one, the front or camera light. Number two, the side light. And number three, the back light are used. And flash bulbs are employed as the light sources. Exposure directions are printed on each flash lamp carton. Flood lamps would serve equally as well if they happened to be shooting a home movie. Ready, Junior? <laughs> well, let's take the picture. The result shows that even Junior and Sis can get satisfactory pictures with the triangle lighting formula. The modern family album looks different from the old one, outside as well as inside. With Pa away at work during most of the time when interesting episodes are happening at home, the others are helping with their pictures to keep the family album complete and up to date. Now Ma is recording for generations to come such epical and soul-shaking events as a baby's first encounter with chopped spinach. Incidentally, notice here the advantages of the plain background when compared to a cluttered, complicated, distracting background. The plain background sets off most subjects to best advantage. With the passing of the days and the seasons, the little bits of Jones history accumulate. The one that Junior took with flash lighting when Sis finally made the school team. The one that Ma likes so well because her children look as if they could do no wrong. And Christmas time, of course, with all its many moments that are so well worth preserving. Then, happy day, income tax time. Notice, by the way, that when Ma took this picture, she used the walls of the corner in the background to pick up and distribute the light throughout the scene. Thus, the full effectiveness of the lighting is utilized. The Joneses have learned that with flash lighting, they can get better pictures outdoors, too. Flash is always valuable where there is action to be stopped. In taking still lifes as well, they stick closely to the principles of the triangle formula. And when Junior did this one of the nurse, the triangle idea really paid off. These days, as the Joneses gather around their projector to view the results of their movie-taking efforts, they are confident that the use of their pet lighting formula marked the beginning of better pictures. As soon as this shot of the birthday party was returned from the processor, Ma spliced in the old scene taken when Pa thought lighting was such a bothersome, complicated chore.
a look at that, would you? Pretty nice, I'll say. And it wasn't any trouble at all. Say, who took this picture anyway? You, dear. And in still pictures, the photographic life of the Jones family is a lot happier now that they have discovered single flash. With its simplicity and its convenience, its countless uses, its real economy. They use it for better pictures whenever the opportunity presents itself. And they have likewise had such good luck with the triangle lighting formula that Junior has decided to make some animated movie drawings to help explain the idea to his friends. Let's see if he gets it straight. The camera and the subject. The front or exposure light at or near the camera lens. Determine the distance from camera to subject. Measure this same distance at right angles to the first line. Mark it. Locate a spot on the third side of the triangle, halfway between marker and camera, for the second or side light. Then if a third light is to be used, measure from the side light on a line to the subject. Then straight on to a point an equal distance beyond. That's the spot for the third, or backlight. Yes, this is our triangle lighting formula. Simple to use, easy to remember. And this is an illustration of its use. Our American family, the Joneses, are once again engaged in the great American pastime having their picture taken. Now let's see. There's Pa and Ma, Junior, Sis, and Grandpa. They're all there. Say, who's taking the picture anyway? Uh-oh. <laughs> well, perhaps the triangle system isn't quite so simple as this, but you get the general idea. Happy shooting. <laughs>